go live now. Okay. Now let me pull it up. What is going on in here? I'm recording a 10-minute message to somebody. that That's not even a message. It's just recording. But anyway, hey, everybody. You are on the show. In. We do got to do a hard stop at 2.30. My angel got a scrimmage today. I think we should. Where are you eating? <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Crap is a jerky. What? Turkey slices, lunch at me. You know what? Just chew it up. Just go ahead. Just go ahead and chew it up. <laughs> and, uh, I got I'm that bad habit us. from your uncle. From Uncle Chocolate. Chocolate oh, is not okay. full all the time. Let's see. Is that better? Let me sit down. Let me go in from my other account. Is it this way? No, this way. Hey, Ty. Hey Tammy. Yeah. Hey Jenny. Oh y'all. Hey, hey y'all. I just I don't see nobody. Oh, because I don't have no comments. That probably would be why. Um let me see. Why is my hey y'all? <laughs> y'all, we just trying to get church. I'm trying to get it together over here. Try to get it together. Hi, Carmen. Hey Carmen. You said me post in my channel. What? What's that mean? A direct link. I don't know. Carmen, go out to my page and see if it's streaming on my my page. I don't know if it is. Oh, oh no, it's not. It says stream this <laughs> stream. This <laughs> <laughs> Big giant blue button. Uh, let okay, me, get let my, me take charger. my audience. My uh, charger. Oh, child. The reason why it was taking so long because it keeps saying I have to go in through Safari, which I don't use that. <laughs> so I guess it was like, you want to use it today because it was not working. So I had to go in through Safari. Oh, I, I didn't post a direct link. I thought I did when I put it in my thing. I thought I put a direct link to my um Okay, so now I'm um and you should see me on my YouTube page. Why all of a sudden did I just get dark? Having an issue. You having an issue? No. Oh, okay. You just asked me, was I having an issue? Having oh, okay. An issue. All right. So let's get into the pattern of today. Where is the pattern? So I adjusted mine. I added two inches or to mine. Well, actually, before it's two in the front and two in the back. I still feel like I needed to add more, but I didn't. Add more what? Inches. It to me, it still seems like it's too small. When I read the the measurements on the pattern piece, it's it for the twelve because that's how uh, that's the size it goes up to, y'all. We are working on Simplicity eighty three eighty five. This is an oldie but goodie back from twenty seventeen. Um, yeah, we're both doing View E, which is. Well, y'all, y'all see the thing, the one that's um, advertised here. So we're both doing that. So on the measurements for the size 12, it's saying a bust of 38, which is, that's my size. And then it says three and a half inches of um, ease. So it, which will put it to, four. I was like, no, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. So we're going to see when I sew this up, but I definitely add it um, because, yeah, I didn't trust it at all. And so, also, while well, since I'm talking, thank you all. Hey, y'all. Hey. Hey, Sean. Yeah, we live, girl. We live. This is, I'm going to be using a, it's a very lightweight denim. It's, it's super light. It's 
it's like super duper 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 light. Um, but it has like this orange, you know, kind of tone and blend, whatever you want to call like the little stone wash kind of effect to it. I got this from Michael Levine's many years ago. And so I never used it, but I planned on um, working it with, if you guys remember from my live, when I made these orange pans, they were like from uh, Bert, is it Berta? I think these are Berta. Oh, I forgot on here, it's gonna be opposite. So the wide leaf pan, so yeah, I'm looking forward to kind of putting it to that. So that was like my idea of what I'm doing for this now. We have here the master of disasters. Like, no, <laughs> the master over right. here, Carol. Um, also, too, before, oh no, I'm gonna let you go ahead and say, talk about your uh fabric that you'll be using it if you did any adjusting or anything. And all that. Okay, let me grab a piece of scrap fabric that I have here. What I cut out. Um, you said, of course, I got. Well, I did. I'm using fabric from my stash, D. <laughs> I'm like, I've been holding on to this forever. I was like, I don't know what I want to use it for. Um, did I make any adjustments? Okay, so. I have uh, Thank you. this rayon chalet. Oh, <laughs> nice. Mm, Here it is. Yeah. That's the print. This I got from Vogue Fabrics. This has been in my stash wow. probably more than probably more than 10 years. Um mm. So I, it was one of them fabrics that I keep pulling out, then I put it back, then I pull it out, and it's not enough of it. Then yep. I put it back, the project ain't good enough. This is an <laughs> in and out fabric. <laughs> so when I saw it, because the last time I pulled it out, it wasn't enough for the project. But I was like, you know what? Let me use this. It's got a nice drape to it, so the little flaps on the side will be swinging. Yeah, right. Yeah, I feel know. like we both was in a spirit because That's the same, like when you was... the how you describing how the fabric should I use it? Should I not? That was the same thing with me with this, right? <laughs> so I'm like, you know what? I'm finally gonna use it. it. I think it's so pretty. Uh, it would be good with a lot of stuff blue jeans, shorts, like some white shorts or some denim shorts. So I was like, let me do this. Um, the only alteration that I made was shortening the bodice. I think I shortened the bodice on this an inch. Um, I did not do any, did I shorten it? No, 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 I didn't. I didn't shorten anything because I want the flaps to be really long. So they're past my, you know, on here, they're at her thigh. They're like down to, almost to my knees. So I thought that would look really cool. <laughs> it's a little long on me, but uh uh, yeah, it's gonna be that is. I think that's gonna be cute. Though. It'll be I cute just, with the long <laughs> flaps. I just hope that I don't get in the car and one of the flaps is hanging out the door because I just slammed the car door. And Keith will be like, "Wait, why am I so long?" Mm -mm -mm. So another thing that I'm kind of excited about because y'all know we all are trying to grow and try new things. Now I've never did spaghetti straps because. I just could not figure out how to do it. And so I just decided that I'll leave that to people that do it. And I'm going to either do a di just a different type of strap. So not only will we be doing spaghetti straps, but I've never used these little um, lingerie rings. Is that what they call it? But I got a pack of, I never, you know, did anything like this before. So if you did lingerie, then you probably know what this is all about. But mm -hmm. also, this is still even in the pack. So I'm sure we probably want to use this today as well. So do yeah. you have, um, do you have this one? Yes, I do have that. Mm -hmm. Then you'll need this one. This one is, uh, this one is going to be better because the ones that you have in the package, those are to turn in and out a strap that has a closed end. Oh, okay. These have open ends. So from my toddler top, 
Oh Lord, y'all remember the toddler top? <laughs> I did these from the toddler top and these um, same straps, uh, but I used this because both ends are open on the uh okay so you use this for both ends open and this for one end closed exactly exactly okay. y'all get that this jimmy joint is for one end closed this one is for uh both ends open yeah and i did find a, um an issue a kind of uh, issue with the instructions no it's still not it's not in print um d you might can find it on etsy Oh, you did? I didn't even go over this. So I'm so glad. Look, there's nothing like uh, so this week been been crazy, crazy busy. So what was what did you find? Um, just so when you when you sew the um, spaghetti straps, it says to sew a quarter of an inch from the fold. Um, but it's actually three eighths of an inch from the fold. because That's where your dot marks are, because I was just like, that's kind of skinny. I want mine bigger. So when I did okay. mine larger, I saw that my needle was right where the dots were. So okay, they want okay. you to sew the straps three eighths of an inch from the fold, not a quarter of an inch. Oh, okay. All right. So I guess we can go ahead and get started with the darts. So we starting at the we start. Da, 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 well, it's at the state missing the neck, I think, is number one. I'm always trying to issue. Ain't that what y'all need before the five issues? Jeez Louise. Carmen, can you see me on my YouTube channel? Hey, YouTube folk. How y'all there? How you mama? Yes, yeah, I think she can see. <laughs> Let me get my front. Peace. Okay, so, so we're starting at the I gotta get my pieces. So I was gonna show y'all I had to, I adjusted my pattern again because it was too small. So what I did was cut it down the whatever line that was, the center front line and adjusted it there and just recreated that V part in the front and also um kind of lined up the bottom part so that it will go in the shape that it was intended for so that's what i did i did that to the front and to the back i will never stay stitch my neck but since we're on here we can't probably would help if i turn my iron on right yep i think it would i think it would help So the first things first is to stay stitch the neck at one fourth. Oh, wait a minute. You know what? On this one, I did do an alteration. I did a, a low bust adjustment. I was online the other day with the toddler top. <laughs> and I did the 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 low bust adjustment on that. Oh uh, yeah, I see some dots missing. So I need to redo my dots. Well, yeah, I will. So this is what it looks like since you held yours up. And you can oh, see you where, it lower. Right, where I moved the dart down. And this is like an inch and a quarter. I moved the dart down. So instead of the dart being up here, <laughs> it's now going to be down here where I need it to be. So I lowered Oh, myself. shoot. Should I have done that? Oh, well. Uh, well, it depends on how they hang low. Do they hang low? Do they hang high? Can you well, they ain't, they ain't really there like that to really be uh... right. It's no, it's it's the the bust adjustment depends on where your bust is. Remember that song? Do your ears hang low? Can you tie them in a knot? Can you tie them in a bow? Same thing. Do your boobs hang high? Do your boobs hang? So, I got a can you tie me in a knot? Can you tie me in a bow? <laughs> so I think we will be just fine. This week. <laughs> oh, yeah. I have to tie mine in a knot. I can tie mine in a bow. 
Lord. We already see what kind of live this gonna be. <laughs> and now I like all confused because I did the Tyler top, then I'm looking at this one and I'm not seeing my markings. I'm like, okay, now don't play. So what are you getting right? Are you doing the darts or are you doing this the next? I'm gonna do my markings, then I'll be able to do the dot. The I'm gonna do my dots, then I'm gonna do my darts. You are you stay darts. stitching the neck? Darts. Are you going to stay stitch the neck? Yes. Yes, yes. Okay, then I'm going to stay stitch the neck. I'm going to stay stitch the neck. Let's see. Well, I can start stay stitching and 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 this send me going and 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 uh, i'm going to on my sides i'm going to french seam my sides you don't have to if you don't want to but uh i don't want to put no serge on this fabric because it's so old oh okay i, I see what you're saying there And I'm using my pin cushion from the sorority wear retreat because oh. I needed a pin cushion up here by my sewing machine. Okay, this is my pin cushion. <laughs> While I'm taking my pins off, can I give everybody a little pin cushion lesson? Go right ahead. Okay. The pin cushion, this basic <laughs> pin cushion is filled with sawdust. Just an FYI. And this part of the pin cushion is filled with something a little bit rougher. So not only is it, this is here so you can Hold the pin cushion. Well, so you can hold it like this. But mm -hmm. this little thingy right here sharpens your pins. Oh. See? Did y'all even know that? That's what this little yeah. thing is for I on the pin cushion. Little... If you I feel mean... it, it feels different than the actual pin cushion. Right. Thing. It's hard, isn't it? Yeah. This is a sharpener for your straight pin. Oh, and nice. I do this because this is the pin cushion that came out when Jesus was born. So since I've been sewing with Jesus, <laughs> y'all get on a little, uh, little, little information. The way you said a day of pin cushion. <laughs> <laughs> Tell Carmen she got to go. Hey, D. Ashley says she already, D. Ashley said she already knew. Hey, D. Patterns by D. We know we got two D's in the building. Tysery. Go ahead, Tysery. She saw it somewhere. Tysery, you heard it here first. <laughs> okay. Mm. Doing darts and stay stitching. Yes. <laughs> darts and stay stitching. So y'all listen, Angel has a track meet today and I just got a message. Or she has a scrimmage rather. And I just got a message that it's supposed to rain on Saturday. So they just canceled the meet. I'm so weird. <laughs> I probably shouldn't be, but I am. Ain't nothing wrong with a, with a, ain't nothing wrong with a day. <laughs> I'm like, it's just that because we're outside now. And so, yeah. Don't nobody have time for no rain and it's just too much. It is too much. I said, well, thank you. Thank you, thank you. 
Alrighty, yeah, I'm cool. like my day. stay stitching. Well, I just did the first, the front first, and then doing the dart, and then I'll do the stay stitching on the other one. The other one, the other one. Y'all, if you could please like the, uh, the live for us, it would be great. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I'm finally using this fabric. I pulled it out for a project. I didn't have enough. That was like, I hate when that happens. Just, right, right. Because I didn't have a whole what, lot you know, of this. Be like, yeah, I'm going to use this fabric. And the fabric would be like, uh-uh. I think I only have like two yards. Yeah, because you got to cut two. And it's that front piece with the drape. It's like it takes up fabric. And then, you know what it does? It curves out. So yep. it goes straight down. Yep. So you have to make sure you have a wide enough piece. That's another thing. I was like, I'm not getting ready to do it. <laughs> This has to be cut on the fold, a double to something. So uh, what I was able to do was do a double layer cut. So I cut my fabric in half on the fold, then I laid one on top of the other. And I was able really? to, yeah, then I was able to cut two at one time instead of oh, doing a single layer. V, you are absolutely right. Then my landlord just texted like just a second ago saying they only have some people come on Saturday. I'm unavailable. Okay. I don't know if you heard me say the track meet was canceled or what, but I'm still unavailable. You are not. Absolutely not. Mm -mm. Absolutely not. Other line. I'm not finding my other. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, Jesus. I wonder why it wasn't working. I'm like, why is this not working? What am I doing? What's that buzzing noise? What you over there doing? You talking about me? Mm -hmm. That must just be feedback you hear, because I this quiet over here. Oh, okay. All right, I'm gonna press my dart, and then I'll do space that you want. Is it like loud? No, it it's, be... it's just like bleh. it could be. I don't know. No, it's not loud though. I just this computer is getting ready to. It'll be like it's gonna die soon. Oh. <laughs> um, I don't know how much life I got left on it. Oh, okay. Can you all hear feedback or buzzing? No, I will be back. I'm just pressing my darts down. And then I can get my darts to line up. No can issues here. No, Tiger said no. Okay. Well, long as they good, like I said, it ain't. It's not like annoying, and I just thought you were using something. Mm -mm. So I'm going to uh, pin all mine on both pieces before I start sewing, so I can just sew everything at one time. You want to do what? I'm going to pin all my darts, all four of them. You know what? What? Well, I forgot that it is two of these. Oh, Jesus. You need another cut? 
No, I, it's cut. But I mean, I just it's totally like I just totally forgot that we have two two of them to do. Yeah. So I would have did the same thing. If I, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, she saw it already. Damn, I know I'm slow, but damn. <laughs> right, I'm saying here like, what are you doing? You know we on limited time. Like, what are you over there doing? <laughs> Child, being smart about it, because I sure would have did the same thing, but oh well. I just totally forgot. Because <laughs> when you said four darts, I'm like, four? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, Michonne Salon D. Oh, yeah, I'm about to say, wait, it's a whole nother day? Yeah, she's streaming on her page. You're not streaming? It's not streaming on your page? It should be on my YouTube page, not on TikTok. So you said you on your other page. I'm about to say, okay. It should be streaming on my YouTube page. I, I think somebody It said, should be because um, Carmen said that she... I think Carmen said she was she on her was, last... Um, responding from that page. Okay, so it says I'm streaming oh, on, yeah, it is. on my account. What hey, account? Tata. How are you, friend? Why do I have on this hot ass sweatshirt? I'm hot. Right, I said the same, but I have to roll right on out of here. So I was like, I'll turn my fan on if I have to. <laughs> but luckily, I'm good right now for a change. Maybe it's just that night, you know, you get my body knows about to get ready to go to bed or something that I just be hot. Mm -mm. I tell you, women go through so much. <gasps> it's on my page. All right. So it is streaming on my YouTube page. All right. So this one's pinned. Now I got to do the other one. <laughs> The toddler top is coming out cute. The, the, the little uh, ruffle thingamajiggy. I was doing that. Look, this morning when I was on live with Terrence, me and Nikki was on live with Terrence. Uh, what time was that? No, oh, about an hour ago. Oh, I must. I really missed that. I missed no, I'm joking about. Uh, look, I'm joking about an hour ago. By probably three in the morning, two in the morning, something like that. Oh my God, y'all crazy! Absolutely not. I was knocked out. Thank you, D, for streaming on both. I really appreciate it. We need to get these hours. Y'all, please make sure y'all like the live as well thank you kindly so I, we did the carmen yesterday when carmen was streaming live she she was able to get the um the money that was pretty cool oh really oh go friend yeah I, the only thing uh, it's just like though you you have to when you buy the coins it's not like TikTok. You like you send actual money. Oh, really? Okay. Mm -hmm. Then do you get like Carm, do they take a percentage? Oh, I'm sure they probably do. Like I don't know if they even take a percentage out. That's it's kind of interesting. I don't even know if they do. Uh but I was like charge like taxes, I think taxes and fees. That's oh, that must be how they get their money. I think that's then. what they take. Oh, okay, okay. The fee, you know, there's a fee. Okay. I'm like, they yeah, that was my first time seeing that doing that. That was cool. Yeah. Oh, okay. Are you doing it too, D? Thank you. I appreciate y'all doing that. But this is the thing I don't understand about TikTok. I know Carmen was on 
um, talking about the rules, not TikTok, uh, YouTube, talking about the rules and stuff. And I haven't read them in a while. So I'm like halfway with this, with the, with the monetization and all of that stuff, right? Mm -hmm. I have 4,000 hours, but I have one video that has more than that. So they changed the rules on me when, when the video was getting all of that time, which is stupid. Like I have 4,000 hours on one video. So I really? Mm -hmm. I have one video that's got a whole bunch of hits on it. Like thought it. Saying it, saying it has to be split up into something. Yes, I don't know, but you know they they'd be changing the rules and shit. They do whatever they can to get you to to do more than what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> It is certainly applies to me because bra. <laughs> I don't get on no more. I used to get on YouTube a lot, but well, you need to get more, get in on it more, friend. Okay, I guess. <laughs> like how you be sitting on TikTok, you could be on YouTube. YouTube don't close. You can still get on at two, three, four in the morning. They don't close uh, at a certain time. But why is this not acting right? I need you to act right. Let's see. I need to have a take the one moment. Uh, friend, what's not acting right? Yeah, I only got the dark set on both. Oh, Lord. This one be a part two. Uh, so no, okay. It's good. I had a pen in the wrong place. All right. I'm ready to start stitching these. After this, like, dart debacle. Well, I mean, views, I think, is different, though, than having hours, D. Because people could view something, but if they only on there, I don't know how long somebody has right. to on your video. But, then, but my video, yeah, but my video has, the video itself is like, I don't know, probably about 12 or 13 minutes long, maybe 15 minutes long. So it's not like a quick hit look and, and go. People are watching the video. So I'm like, you know what? Y'all just need to quit it. That's what y'all need to do. Okay. That's what y'all need to do. YouTube. I was, all that time I was looking at top B, even though it's, it starts off still the same, but that's probably what threw me off. What's this happening? Let's get this going. What's happening? Mm -hmm. This could be from, it's from the lower, and that's what it is. Okay, hold on, stay still. So that is like really awesome. Boom. 18. Okay, my dart's off. Uh, so when it's folded down, you see the side seam is distorted. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it out. About, I don't know, maybe about... Wait, let me see, put it, let me see it again. This is what's, what's going on. Oh, you're saying it's going, okay. 
I see what you're right. Doing. So I'm gonna let it out partially, and then I'm just gonna let it fall to where it wants to fall, and then stitch it, and I'll be good. This thing still, I think it's gonna be snug, but it'll it'll fit by the time the summertime comes. <laughs> Would you say it'll what? It'll fit by the time I'm ready to wear it. It don't need to necessarily fit all that well right there. But I think it's still, even we're adding them two inches, that is still. Oh, they are doing it like, like two separate pieces. What? They're doing it like two separate pieces and then bringing it together. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Got a little bit more out here. Yeah, that's in here, buddy. Anybody else working on anything? Maybe probably not at this moment, but today. At all. Anybody have any plans? Weird. They're the ones really weird. My end is sound like you're getting a haircut. You all right over there, friend? Can you dart together? Mm -hmm. oh, the dress? I think um I have I got a butter uh wrap dress too. So let me know how it works out. Hey everybody's doing wraps. Think. We need to work from this side. These parts. Let's go here. That's cool. What? Yeah, let me know. Is it is your is the butter uh wrap dress a uh, fabric haul? Because I'm pretty sure I, we probably had the same one, but I, I haven't um looked at it yet. Did y'all remember when I was doing the locks? Ooh, I fixed it. Hmm? I said I fixed it. Good design. Well, praise God. Won't he do it? Mm-hmm. Won't he will? Four mm -hmm. yards. Oh. No, that's that's not bad. I know. Uh... So that's on the right side. So that means that the right side on the other one is going to... Give me a little bit of peace. Fred, how many darts you did so far? Just this one I had got jacked up on. Fred, don't you rush me. Don't rush me. I'm, rushing, I'm just saying it's probably going to be like a part two. Because um, 
Yeah. No, we're not going to do a part two. We're going to finish. Well, you know what, though? We might have to do a part two. You know what? I forgot to tell you. Mm -hmm. I got to go to the dentist. So what time does that go? Um, so I can just stop it. Like, my t appointment's at two o'clock. So I can start at a quarter till. I mean, I can stop at a quarter to two. So it's a quarter to three. Well, I got to get up, be off by two thirty. So that, yeah, that it works. Oh, that's the same time then. Yeah, yeah. it's about the same time. Yeah. Because you you said two thirty, which is one thirty here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's good. So my dentist is literally about five minutes away from me. Well, good for you. My drive is about fifty minutes. Okay. So if we have to do a, if we have to do a part two, we can do a part two. But, uh, I don't think we might have to. Well, being as though you got one dart done, um, I got two done now. Okay. <laughs> so Jen, just say these issues with that word. Okay, I'm okay. Mm -hmm. I'm moving right along. Dig a dang, dig a dang. Mm -hmm. Why did I pin this? <laughs> I just be doing stuff. I'm like, what did I pin that for? Oh, I pinned the wrong thing. That's why. That's good. Yeah. This one's good. So you read the direction. Do you see uh what would you why would they want us to put a front to the back and then a front to the back again instead of putting both fronts together? Both fronts. Both because one is on one side, one is on the other side. They do want you to put two fronts together, but you still have to join them at the side. Yeah, so but I'm saying you do a front and a back, a front and a back, and then slide one inside the other. If you do it that way, then your seams, you just match your seams up and you can baste all the way around. I think they may have you do it that way because on view D, there's an underlay or a, a you can put a tank top underneath view D. And I think that's why they have it do it like that. But you know what though, is you could do it however you want, just as long as everything lines up when you, you know what I mean? No, I'm gonna do it their way. I mean, yeah, cause I was thinking like, oh, you just do the fronts, then do, you know, do the bag and then um, put them together. But they, but I'm gonna do it their way. Cause I need to try this. Um, one side on anyway, so doing it like this will allow me to do that in T way. So yeah. So yeah. So while we're doing this and Carol is working on her third dart, uh, I will tell y'all about last night. I did, why well, I didn't go live on TikTok last night is because I had a vending event that went really well. It, I reached my goal. Um, and I didn't know, like, honestly, <laughs> being honest, like, I didn't know how, you know, what to expect, like, what kind of turnout it was going to be because it was a karaoke event. And y'all know I love me some karaoke. First of all, pause. I'll get back into that. The owner at this place gave away $250 for the best thing. I would have sung, I would have put on a whole performance if I know you were giving away $250. A guy won. And so I'm happy to see, like, you know, men involved and be singing and stuff like that. I'm not quite sure if he was the best singer. I don't know because I wasn't paying attention like that. But um I said to I had to say, excuse me, sir, like $250. Oh my God. But that was pretty good. But anyway, going back to um the place wasn't like heavily crowded or anything like that. Um, 
but it was, I just, I was like, let me just see. You know what I mean? I was like, I felt like my setup and everything. I'm a person like presentation matters to me. So everything has to be on point and laid out, whatever. And I had got so many compliments um, on there. But the, the thing of it is, I was invited to this through a DJ. So he kept, you know, saying, come to the bag, you know, um, come check me out. And this, that. and I was, you know, talking to a few different people. I also took some like um, custom pieces so people could see that I also do custom work or whatever but it was really cool like very supportive and and i had um a few guys too that supported which was you know crazy and they got the bold t-shirt like i didn't have to explain it to you know what i mean like what it means and stuff like because people that have been rocking with me like y'all all kind of know understand what it's about but very very new people you know what i mean may not but i was surprised to be able to sell you know what i mean a boat and when i started to explain to one lady why she's like oh my god i love it so much and i was like what well, is the foundation of my brain i was kind of getting she's like girl i love it i only i'm pretty sure you got a nice story to go with it but she's like i love it so i just shut up because i was like okay well i don't you know i don't need to even really get into it but it really was nice to the point where I don't know nothing about no, a Eastern star, okay, a Western star, nothing, you know what I mean? This lady came up to me. Now, she came up to me over my earrings. I had on, um, y'all know I love earrings, and so I have, I'm going to have to find me, like, a really dope vendor and get some earrings, but nevertheless, she came up to me. Well, of course, you know, she was telling me about my stuff, but she came up to me. And it was like, they do some type of big event. It's like in Harrisburg. And she was just going over like a lot of different stuff. And I'm like listening to her. But, you know, it has something to do with like the fraternities and the sororities. Something. Y'all got to help me out. Th those that are in it. Because I really don't know. But she was like, you got to come. And I, I need you to be set. Like, just was like inviting me. Even if it's an event on Saturday, the person that brought me out yesterday was like can you come bring this stuff bring the same stuff can you come out saturday and i'm like well my daughter you know she has a track meet so that would have been a really long day but now that it's canceled but like i don't know because it's going to be a rent so i have to check with the guy but it was just like people were very inter interested in me coming back a lot of them of course were like i didn't know that you saw when this that because i when i go out uh you know i go out to enjoy myself i don't be out oh walking around like oh i'm a designer oh i'm a designer and it was like no wonder because we always you know people compliment me a lot on my stuff so i'll say this to say y'all wear your stuff especially if you're selling something wear your mates if you're a designer or you know you might like wear that because people be watching like this one lady came up to me was like i remember you you had two ponytails two puff balls in your hair and like really describing, I'm like, I only did that once. And that was like last Friday. But I, I didn't know who she was, but she recognized me. And so she's like, I love to support Black and, you know, all of that. So it was really nice. You my ears are cute. Thank you. You said you need to get a bold one. Yes, you do, D. Yes, you do. You had to get it in Black, girl, because the colors is over. Okay, the colors are over. <laughs> Oh, you say our ears are always so. I just, but I, I shop all over the place. If something stands out to me, I just great. I just get it, and so, yeah. The Masons are there also. Yes, yeah, yes. That's what the guy said. So a guy came up to her and said, "Can you please give me her information because he's a Mason." So, you know, I'm just sitting here like, because I'm like, I don't know what they talking about. Child, I don't know what they talk. But well, I'm going to keep nodding and act like I do, though, cause, and I'll find out about it because I don't know. <laughs> I'm like, because I don't know. But she was showing me, like, pictures, and they got to wear this event where they wear all white. But she said they buy so much white. So she was like, if you could make some white stuff. I was like, girl, I could make any color stuff, okay? Um, so I was like, okay. But she was so hype, and I was hype with her, even though I didn't know what she was talking about. But I was hype with her. I was hype with her. <clears throat> so I said I was going to be more intentional about, you know, just wearing my makes out. Like right now, it has been, it's been cold. So I've been wearing my hoodies, my bolded because I can. I keep them in rotation. I don't care. Like, you know, I just change up the color or whatever. But I've been wearing them a whole hell of a lot um, lately. You say, yes. And 
Come on. Yeah, and that's exactly what she, what the what the lady said. She was like, did she say her name? I'm trying. I don't remember what name was, but she said yes. Um, they like to wear, even though you know what I mean. I'm not going to be making their um stuff or making it in their colors. She did mention that as well. Come on, Miss Tata, coming through with the info because that's exactly what she said. That's exactly what she said. And so yeah, but I said I say all that to say I really wasn't going to do it because I, this week was a very busy week, and I'm like, oh, maybe I should wait till next week. And then I said, nope, Aisha, because that's what you do. Like, again, I do. I am working on it. So I'm putting it out there. Like, I am releasing that background world, okay? I love to be in the background. So I really, really do. But, um, yeah, like, those days are, like, are over. Um, then the DJ was like, well, can you come out? And I knew he was something with my spirit, my sha -na, na said, He's going to ask me to come out here and say something to these people. And so I just let it slide, whatever. As we get closer towards, because um, they were doing a little giveaway. So I gave away one of my little pouches. And then the pouch had like some old kind of like African print pan or something that I wasn't going to, you know, wasn't going to sell. So I said, I'll just, you know, give them away. Um, he was like, can you come out and just tell them a little bit about your brand? And he was like, are you nervous? And I'm like, Yes. He was like, well, I'm nervous too. Let's go. Like, <laughs> even though he's a DJ, like, uh, but then my friend that was there was like, she not nervous. She got this. And I'm just looking like, but once I got out there, got the mic, child, everything just flowed. But child, uh-uh. I was like, ooh, child. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh No. But yeah, it was pretty cool. So let me see. Oh, we would be Carmen. Carmen going to say, I'm glad, she glad that I went because her live was popping last night. Thank you, friend. Thank you for being a friend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for being a friend. You said you can't. D, you talk to me when we go live. We need to go live again then, friend. We need to go live again. Cause you be talking, you do be talking. I, you might think it's a certain. I don't, I don't know, like what you looking for or expected it, but you do be talking. Like, would you? We don't be sign language when you um be on here. You know, for a week. Thank you, friend. And I also I have to give a shout out. I have to get to Renee because I did touch base. Y'all know Renee. Um, is this is it so? Is it so molded be? But y'all know Renee. The, Bag Renee, uh, I actually reached out to her to make sure I'm like, okay, I know you know you do this, and so, um, to make sure like the cover bases or whatever, it, it make sure I got everything going on. And she, you know, she was like, yeah, girl, you could, you know, what I mean, you got this. Uh, but the one thing that I totally had forgot, which I'm so glad again, in reaching out, and y'all, please don't be afraid to reach out. Like, we're a community, I'm not saying everybody's going to be open to giving information i you know i don't speak for nobody and i don't want nobody speaking for me um but i do believe that you know we have help here and so um carmen was like you, you you know you if you talk to her have you you know was i on the live but i missed a lot of the live when she was on there with oh. parents and so at first i was like oh i don't want to um you know like don't want to bother people i've always but i'm releasing that too because like a lot of times what holds me back, I was about to say us, but I'm not speaking for y'all. But I mean, if you find yourself in my story, then so be it. Yeah, so mode it be LLC. Okay. Yeah. Hey, friend. <laughs> Make sure you're sewing the right sides together. What? You're sewing the front and the back. In the front and the back. Yes, I am. Okay. Why you pressing? I had a front and a back, but I had the opposite. I had a wing on one side and a wing on the other side. Oh well, yeah, we don't want that. Or you really trying to do the crisscross applesauce? Right. So I, 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 I well, I had pinned it. I'm glad I just pinned it. I didn't sew it, so I switched it. 
But now I'm back in business. <laughs> Tidry, why you laughing, Tidry? Hmm? Why you laughing? Ooh, yeah, that little bitty uh that part to say three eighths of an inch i already know what i'm getting ready to do uh -huh. what, you talking about for the hem uh -huh. what you going to do i'm gonna surge that bitch and turn it under uh -huh. <laughs> i said i wasn't gonna surge this fabric didn't i you sure? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to wear this until it falls apart in the washing machine. But now I'm going to surge it and turn it under. I'm, I'm not getting ready to be doing no. That's what I, I did with the toddler top. I did that baby hem. I was like, okay, I won't be doing another one of these for a little while. <laughs> yeah, I need like a, or a road hem for like I have several um, roll him feet, but they they don't be rolling. So I don't know. Now on my um, industrial machine that I have at my mom's, that roll him foot rolls. Okay, it gets the job done. Like I don't know if it's I don't know, but that works. But I can't get it to work on my tabletop machine. They don't work. So I can't wait to be reunited with that machine. Yeah, D, you got this girl. Um Carol. Mm -hmm. Wait. What she said, not uh, Auntie Carol trying to fake YOLO. That's what Tidry said. Carmen said, Why is it taking you so long <laughs> to do a two piece top? Because it's not two pieces. <laughs> he said, Her two is definitely do YOLO. Look at them, they they like not to YOLO, and now you're gonna have people YOLOing all the time. <laughs> YOLO and that's not YOLO and oh my god <laughs> YOLO and is the arm is fucked up and you be like you know what I'm just gonna leave it like that it, uh, ain't nobody gonna see it that's YOLO and come on y'all get the terms right now oh D I'll go live with you I will definitely go live with you I'll be trying to have people to come live with me shit Trying to act like y'all know don't know what yellowing is. Y'all know what yellowing is. Oh, well, this look like this to me. <laughs> <sighs> All right, well, I'm gonna get ready to um oh I'm not taking this whole sweatshirt off. No, I'm not. I'm gonna pull it up. That's what happens when you don't have hips. You can pull <laughs> stuff up right when it falls down to your thighs. <laughs> so what'd you say? I said the sweatshirt falls down to your thighs. <laughs> Yep. Straight six o'clock over here. All right, let me see. I can step right into this bad boy to see how it's going to fit. Ooh, I got an inch. I got to do the little inchy dance to go past my thighs, y'all. So y'all know that ain't. Hmm. You see, it's like it, it just fits. Not like just, but okay. It's gonna fit. But I did a quarter of an inch. In. See, I know what I'm talking about. Are you pressing? Am I pressing? 
I was. I was. I'm not anymore, though. What are you doing? I'm pinning. Pinning what? Oh, the side seams? Yep. Y'all, I would like to thank y'all for coming out today for part one of this shirt. <laughs> this shirt. <laughs> I know that's right, D. You gotta have a job for every damn thing. Find the time. I barely have time to watch anymore. Oh, Delta ain't it. I know that's right. I'm, you know, you know, it was like, was your child? I can't wait to be an adult. Child, I would say, forgive me, Lord, for I did not know what the heck I was saying. Okay. Russian me, process. Take me back to childhood without the, the, the trauma part. They can keep that part, but. Sure, I was like, this is too much. Adulting and especially kids on top of it, top of being an adult. Woo! Uh -uh. Get somebody else to do it. Get somebody else. This way. My mom used to say that, uh-huh. Just keep living. Just keep living. It's the truth, though. I was like, being a dope sucks. Sometimes. Responsibilities. Ugh. Just a lot. <laughs> Having responsibility is a lot for one person. <laughs> it's a lot. I got to search. I'm going to search my edges. When I'm done. So now I'm pinning up the second one now that I tried it on. And it's going to fit. Did you adjust your straps? I added two inches to mine. No, because usually whenever I do straps, they're always too short. I mean, uh, too long. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I wasn't, I didn't know if they were going to be too long or too short. I would rather it be too long and have to cut it. But with this um, thing, it's an adjuster, so you're not going to have to cut it. That's why I didn't do any, I didn't do any strap adjusting because if they're too big, that the little, little lingerie thing allows you to adjust. Uh, adjust, okay. Right. It yeah, I was like, let me just add, because you know, y'all already know how I be talking about my back. I need to make sure I got extra space. I don't need nothing to be curling, sucked in. This <sighs> is to be a kid in the 90s again. Um, well, you say 80s, not today's kids. I don't want Oh, yeah. Today's society. Child, I ain't want to talk about these raggedy kids of the day. But since you brought it up, D. Yeah, I could not. I, I, I just, I just, I could not. I could not be a kid right now. A kid um, now, you said? Huh? Did you say you couldn't be a kid right now? Mm-hmm. Yes. In today's society, these schools, these kids be cursing these teachers out. I mean, cursing them out. And it's like the kids, they out of control. And I need one blame, like, I mean, some, well, some of these kids, I do blame their parents. Yeah. All of the kids, I blame their parents. Because back in the day when, when we are in school, the teachers used to discipline us. And some people are just kind of like, I'm not going to let that happen to my kids. So now they let their kids do anything and everything. And uh, the total, the, to me, is like discipline. Discipline in the school has gone away. Because um, it, it was definitely there when I was there. 
and you didn't know parents go up to the school. I remember when I was there, this was traumatic, but I was in the first grade or was I in the Yeah, third? you remember that far back? I do remember. Uh, this guy named Wokeen was clowning in class and the teacher called and I even remember his name. The teacher called his father. His father was the neighborhood barber. He came up to the school and whooped that boy's ass in front of us in the classroom. And he borrowed a belt from one of the guys. This guy named Keith. Can I have your belt? He whooped his ass in front of the class. I know that. And let me tell you what. He scared us all straight, that man. After that public display of affection. <laughs> <laughs> And so, from what I understand, Joaquin is an attorney now. <laughs> what is he a criminal? What is he a defense to attorney? Probably. Well, I tell you what, we the Joaquin was the nicest kid in the class after that. We were scared of his father. We were scared of that. But see, they don't do that kind of stuff no more now, and the kids think that their parents are going to protect them, which they are. And then now you have all these rules and stuff in the class. So they've changed a ton of things, um, you know, and 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 I know all of y'all out there that are y'all young and it's probably like, ain't nobody going to lend to my child. You have to think about how it was back. Well, you well, always. Also, we live in a different time, too, where. Yeah, it's a different time, but times change according to, way, to the way people are. Look at how the people are acting crazy, so everybody wants to carry. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't like that back in the day. You couldn't fight nobody with your fists or whoop nobody's ass, and you just went on about your business and didn't say nothing. Yeah. Read that so, yeah. Up, change, that change, change with the change of people. And and I totally blame my generation. I'm a boomer, and we were brought up to see both sides. I mean, I was on this earth when Martin Luther King was still alive, but now I'm on this earth and there's a boom in technology. So we were, we, I, I think my generation are the first, the first generation of children that went through the mild struggle. I mean, I've experienced racism, but you know, you know, I've been called nigger before. I've been denied a place to live, but I didn't grow up during Jim Crow. See what I'm saying? Yeah. But I've also, I'm also a person that has uh, been on the advantage side of the marches on Washington and people voting, you know, the voting things and the, you know, lunch counter things. You know, I am of the generation that is allowed to sit at the lunch counter, that's allowed to go to school with white people, that kind of thing. So we're the first generation to benefit from the civil rights era. Mm -hmm. So, and we are also a generation that grew up with parents that, women that were working and starting to work and supporting families. So now we're growing up with that, you know, well, my mom said, you know, it was hard and we're not going to do this. So we're sure we're doing a little bit more for our kids than they were able to do for us because we're in a better financial place. We're in a better situation overall than they were, you know, 40, 50, 50 years ago. Right. Mm -hmm. So we can't afford to buy our kids Jordans and things like that and this, that, and the other. But I think we've lost, we've lost sense of what is important and what is necessary um, as opposed to how it was back in the day. When I was little, it was necessary for us to be neat and clean uh, and to be smart and knowledgeable, not to be well-dressed and have all of the things, you know, all of the material things and to have more than somebody else. That wasn't important. Um, so it's just like when, when you were bad in school, that was something that was frowned upon. 
in, you know, in the neighborhood and in the community. So it wasn't a big deal for somebody to discipline their kid because they got bad grades or whatever. But now the kids just kind of do what they want because the bad ones were disciplined and they're like, I'm not going to do that to my kids. You know, so I mean, I, I, I go to the store and I see what, what is it called? Gentle parenting. And I see um, kids acting a fool and and and. It's not even that they're acting a fool. When you see little kids throwing tantrums and shit, there's one reason behind that. They're tired, they're sleepy, and they're irritated. It ain't got nothing to do with you. It ain't got nothing to do with the situation. But those parents haven't been resourceful enough to find out why the kids act this way. What is the problem? But now it's just like, oh, the child's got ADD. Put them on some Ritalin. You know. Well, yeah, well, the schools get more funding when when the kids are labeled so most of them got whatever it is i don't i can't keep up with all the um adhd adhd yeah and so i don't i don't honestly i'm not knocking kids that have it but all the kids they claim they have it do not have it they're right right bad. that's what i'm saying all the they're kids that they say have it don't have it so i mean Back in the day, you would I would have thought that they would have diagnosed they would have diagnosed that guy Joaquin with ADD. But after his father got in that ass in front of the classroom, it went away. <laughs> and, and if any of us had it, it sure enough went away. Now I, I'm 58 years old, and I remember that ass whipping like it happened yesterday. Because I know I was in class like this. I was. Everybody <laughs> yeah, was because it's mm -hmm. like, you know, who's going to be next? But the kids, the parents are doing different types of parenting now. And, and you know. I, I, well, I will say this. Being though, I still have a young, even though she's 16, but having, you know what I mean? A teen or, or just a child under the age of 18 um, in today's society. Like I had a conversation with my son. I'm not going to go all heavy into it, but. He was like, mom, you already still, you know what I mean? We were scared of you. And, you know, being a single parent, like I had to make sure like my my kids know I wasn't playing with them. And I would pull up to the school in a heartbeat and beat the, exactly. you know, the shit out of them. And one time a teacher will come and let me say for y'all that will watch it on the replay and be trying to be like, this is how we talk. You know, before you start coming here saying shit, read the room. Okay. Thank you. Um... Well, be able to, she pulled me to the side and was like, you can't do, you know, the laws was changing back then when my boys were in school. It was like, listen, mom, I get it. You could take them in the bathroom or whatever, but you can't publicly do that. You know what I mean? Anymore. Right, they'll right. call, you know what I mean? They'll call DHS. But I was like, but then you'll have a cop that's not going to run after you, not going to do, they just going to shoot to kill you. But I can't reprimand my child that, that came out of my JJ. But you can just pull out a gun and just be like, you know what? Because you, you don't feel like running off your donuts that you could just shoot them. Yep. So but make it make sense. Like that. A friend of mine disciplined his daughter. She got, she got loud with her mother. And he slapped her and said, don't you talk to your mother like that. She called the police. He was arrested. Wait, who slapped who? He slapped her. Well, who's the he? That he was a teacher. Her father. Oh, the father. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That is yeah. exactly what I'm and saying. She called the police, and he was arrested. And of course, the mother was in the middle, so she, you know, she was like, "I don't know what to do." So he sat in jail for like a week or so. And now their relationship has been tarnished because. The police stepped in. So I'm like, why does she think that she can talk to her mother like that and not expect to be disciplined by her father? Where does that come from? When we when I don't we weren't afraid of our father. We loved our father, but we were damn sure afraid of the consequence. We mm -hmm. knew the difference between yeah. consequence and actions and when you hold when you're held accountable 
um, you know, we had, when we were little, not only did we have to apologize, but we still got our ass whooped. You got an ass whooping and you had to apologize. Now you just have to that apologize. part. And this <laughs> is going to hurt me more than it's going to hurt you. Oh, we, was even told that. we was like, okay, you know what you did. Bend over. <laughs> exactly. Now, we and for the people we that get, we didn't get a some of y'all may not even know. Working. You can just people put in the comments where y'all like to bend over. Here, did y'all have to bend over? Right. We had <laughs> to bend over. over, and it was a time that you pull your you had to even pull your pants down. Right. So I, 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 I sure I've been through did, it. He did, didn't appreciate it, and it didn't happen that often. But right. Right. You know, we didn't get a speech. It wasn't no, you know, I'm going to discipline you or the police are going to discipline you or this is going to hurt me more than no. You know what you did? Your mama told on you, bend your ass over. And the first thing out of his mouth was, you know what you did. So we had to get comfortable. We right. We knew that there were consequences to our actions. And, you know, this is how we, not how he was going to handle it. And if we didn't want to deal with him, then we had to listen to my mom and tell her to do what she asked us to do. <laughs> exactly. And so like, I, well, I, I tried saying, to run. One time I tried to run. I tried to run from it. Right. Don't put your hands back. You like, yeah. what isn't this like we are set up to like protect ourselves. Nobody just yeah. like you see somebody coming to hit you and you're going to stand there. Here they come. Oh, they're almost here. Like, nah, <laughs> you want to and it's like you put you go put your hand in mad. I'm sitting here like when I say like stuff like that to me in today's time because I think about a slavery. You know what I mean? The slavery. I don't even like to watch the movies. I don't like to see um by our people. Well, that's where that's where it stems from. Yeah. And so we just duplicated that in a different way and calling it as parenting and not our oppressors doing it, but we are still oppressing. So it's like I do believe in getting your ass whooped. I don't believe beatings. No, it, it, no. Black folks, we say you get your ass whooped. Okay, a beating is you can say that for the other folks, but it's like I I do still you know what I mean believe in that, but not as the harsh like how I grew up because I even you know my not with not with my last child but my other three you know what I mean I kind of did them the same you know did them the same way, but when I think about it now I was just like. And having the conversations with them, you know what I mean? They're shenanigans, you know what I mean? The traumatic stuff that, and it's like, wow, I went through that. And then I turned around and did it to my kids, not realizing that's what I was actually doing. I just thought that I was, you know, reprimanding them. But I'm like, again, that stuff comes back from slavery. And they like, well, we didn't die, but y'all traumatized. And, and you know, Carol, like, y'all generation, I'm not going to say, you know, necessarily you. But I know, you know what I mean? I deal with a lot of people that is in that age. What you say, your baby boomers, like in that group where they don't like to kind of talk about that stuff. They don't like to talk about what happened like back in the day and how things, you know what I mean, were or whatever traumas and stuff that they had. Just feel like, well, I've been, you know what, I'm fine or I got a good job or if I have this or whatever. But lo and behold, that stuff still shows up. It comes out through, you know, different things and how you are in life. Like I remember having conversations um, with some people and it's just like, they refuse to accept like what happened in the, like what happened in the past. And it's, it's like, it's okay to like release, you know what I mean? Get it out and let it, but child, it goes right, to the right. grave. It's going to go to the grave. But some of that stuff is trauma. And then it's not about like today's society, these kids have cursed their parents out or whatever. Like me, my generation, your generation, regardless of what happened in our young adult, you know what I mean, our childhood, whatever, I am not going around like cursing my mom out, cursing this person out, cursing that person out, um, being disrespectful. Like I just cannot do that. And it, and I can I can get with get with the get with, but I just cannot see, but these kids. Ooh, I mean, girl. you know what? I don't curse around my mom. I'm uncomfortable. I don't need like very. Yeah, very I'm I, don't, I still don't need around my mom. And my mom, she was always very liberal, and so her, the things that some of the things that she agreed with, a lot of her friends didn't agree with or didn't do. So, Latoya, talk about it, girl. 
Go ahead. Um, you Sarah. know, so that's another thing. Um, we were talked to about birth control. We were talked to about sex. And it wasn't when I was growing up. It was when I was a teenager. And, you know, I believed the things that my mom was telling me. I just felt like, okay, this is uncomfortable conversation. She's doing it for a reason. I didn't know why. But I owed it to myself and I owed it to her to listen. Uh-huh. Works. So she always held us accountable for as far as grades and school and the choices and the things that we made. She was always asked us that's the best you can do, because if that's the best that you feel like you can do, then that's fine. I don't have a problem with that. Or do you, if you understand what I'm saying and you still made those decisions, that then know that that's all on you. And she was a huge, huge advocate of that. Now, my father was a, was a quiet guy. He kind of, you know, lay back in the cut, his thing, the, you know, the provider. So, he wasn't always the disciplinarian, you know, he would step up and do the things that were necessary for us as we were growing up. Uh -huh. um, but she was the one that kind of instilled in us what to do. Now, my mom always told me and my sister, she was like, I had five kids. She said, and then me and your dad had your brother. My, I have a brother that goes to so she said, I wish I would have done. And she said, I don't regret having kids and being so young. She said, because those were my choices. But I want you and your sister to understand about having children. And when you pick a mate and you have a child, she said, when you pick a man and you have a child with this man, he's going to be in your life for the rest of your life. So when you get a boyfriend... And we know you want to have sex and all this. I'm going to give you guys birth control. You're going to be on birth control. But you have to remember that. And look, when I, when I was in my mid-20s, and I see a man and I was like, you don't look like forever. <laughs> see ya. So, <laughs> you know, she was like, I didn't get to travel. I didn't get to do these things. And I want you all to experience these things before you marry. My sister got married. She didn't have her first child. She was married for seven years. And they weren't trying. She was like, I don't, I'm not ready for kids yet. I want to do this. I want to do yeah. that. They were married seven years before my nephew uh, came here. I know that's right. And that was really nice, too, that your mom yeah, kind of sat she you down was, and uh, talked about She was a huge believer in that. She was like, this is what you have to do. And I'm an example. And like she said, she always said, I don't regret the choices that I made, but I want you all to know that there are other choices out there. Because she said, when I grew up, it was, imp it was important for women to get married and have children because they were listening to their parents say, I want grandchildren. You need to get married. You know, that was that old way. Right. And that was my, I wanted to bring that up because that was, um, it was a client that I had before that I was coaching. And one of her main things was that she's, I think like 72 now. Um, mm -hmm. That was like a huge thing of hers because she was like doing it when she was growing up. It was like, you know, kids, marriage, you know what I mean? What they say, pregnant and barefoot. Well, I think that right, was like barefoot, their, pregnant. Uh. But yeah, so it was like that was like, you know what I mean, like the thing. And she did not want that. But what she did in turn was well, is went out and got five degrees. You know what I mean? Like five different degrees. And so, um, but it was really like Shonda Punk for like different to get educated going to college just like college wasn't even a thing like mm -hmm. that was like what but it was like to have you know what i mean get a man and have kids and have raise kids a and have a family right that was a big thing back then so but she was like i, I mean I, but i want you know you all to make 
choices and I want you to make wise choices. If you want to get married young and have a lot of children, then that's a choice that you made. But And because she told us because we were very young, she said, don't think that that's not a, an option. It may be an option for you. That may be what you want to do, but I'm telling you now. So when you become of that age, you know what your options are and you know what you can do. And you know what you want to do. And so I was like, I did. My, when my father died, uh, my parents had been married for 37 years. So, and we, we, we never, well, I, we saw them argue. We saw them be a couple. We, we, we didn't see Rosie and, and, and we didn't see Rosie and Wonderful all the time. We saw arguments, we saw love, we saw hugs, we saw everything in their relationship because they wanted us to know that it's not all roses out there. And we saw them work together. We saw them share. So these are things that they exposed us to where now you see kids, you know, people are, go to your room. I don't want them to see us fighting. They have to understand that that's all a part of a relationship, and that's right. That's, I think, that's yeah. why I, I honestly feel like that's why we have such a high rate of divorces. Because I don't know if they they've been watching the Hallmark Channel where you it's an hour and a half and y'all meet each other and it like it, it it doesn't. And I even me personally had to even you know what I mean learn that myself because you are a product of your environment. So if you grew up in an environment where you didn't see a balance, then you don't know that there actually really is a, a balance or you feel like what the balance is, is, you know, getting beat up on or uh, accepting certain things. Like what I mean by that, I just have like a prime example would be like, okay, if you have a, if you have a mate, a husband or whatever, who pays all the bills, but then he also whoop your ass. Like, no, it's not going to be like, well, at least he pays the bills. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, um, no. <laughs> it, yeah, because you know, you know what feels right to you and what is not right. The minute you feel that something's not right, then you have to use your instinct and the things that you were taught, you know, when and when not to but like i've had friends who were in abusive relationships and the ones that were in abusive relationships uh grew up in that environment like you said you, they were yeah uh, yeah mm -hmm. like i grew man but i'm 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 lucky and blessed that i did not have to that I didn't grow up in that type of environment. You know, I had two regular parents who loved each other. Uh, my parents, they've been together forever. Here's a, so I'm just gonna show y'all this. Here's a picture of my mom and dad. She was 14 and he was 15 in this picture. They met in high school. And they grad. Can you kind of see it a little yeah, bit? Yeah, you can see like they look like they got on the same thing. Is that you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, <laughs> they're dressed alike. They were at a picnic. Oh, okay. <laughs> so my mom, and, and just for you all that don't know, a lot of you guys know that I take care of my help, take care of my mom. My mom is eighty four. So she turned eighty four in January. So you know things were different then, and things were different from them, but. Once they start having all of us, you know, they realized, okay, we're in it for the long haul and we have children and, uh, you know, let's go. My father was a huge, huge advocate of ours. Um, I guess I think me and my sister were both daddy's girls. He did kind of spoil us a little bit more than my brother's. Mm -hmm. Uh, but but he was just an overall lover of children. He just liked kids. So when my mom got pregnant with Terrence, he was ecstatic that there was another baby coming. 
she wasn't she was all that happy about it because when my mom had Terrence, I think she was like 37. You know, she was a little older. Uh, but uh, you know, it's it's all about what you're learning and what you get, what you get from it. Um, you know, when me and Keith were were married and Casey was little, when we had arguments, we, you know, we did not. We have a, you know, me and him have kind of a silent rule. We do not call each other out of our names. Uh, because that, that does not show love. That's just disrespect. I ain't no bitch and he ain't no MF and all of that old stuff. Right. We can, we can hash it out. We can fight fair. Uh, and, and, you know, we could talk about it. And so that way we don't have to, Casey does not have to leave the room. He has to understand that when you have an argument, okay, it has to be, you say what you say, but you got to, you got to move past it just like you move forward with everything else. Right. Yeah, that, that whole disrespect thing, we do not do that. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, that's grounds for divorce. I shouldn't have to call him no MF. He shouldn't have to call me no B. I don't care how mad you get. That's what you call people you don't love. You know what I'm saying? You okay, see, right, D. Yeah, you spend your time and your money. You know, the people who get my time and my money, they ain't MFs. Right. I don't, right. I don't spend my money on those guys. <laughs> so I don't Not on those spend my guys. time on those people. You know what I mean? Now, so now Casey understands that if him and his friends have an argument or fallen out, he can move forward with it or he can he can he can continue on with it or he can move forward from it. So now he knows it's a it's a part of life and that's a choice. So that's not something that I want him to worry about. I don't want him to he, you know, when you get in a relationship, you got to be able to talk. You got to be able to defend yourself. You got to be able to, you know, comfort yourself. And if you don't know how to do that, you're not going to have nothing but problems. Yeah. Well, I think, you know, what? I, I think a lot of the, the issues, um, and again, like I'm not no there. I'm just, just from observation, conversations, and realizing a lot of people just do not think I am a thinker. So it really bothers me what people don't think. <laughs> but it's it's like people really let lack and of course this, this is not everybody's for the people that is applicable to that emotional intelligence they don't know how to really express themselves and so they act out in other what you know what i mean like mm -hmm. act out you know what i mean that's why i think how narcissists you know nobody told a narcissist ever before that of their wrongdoings or whatever and that's how they you know they become that it's like me what <laughs> no way it can't be me it gotta be everybody else you know and things like that it's like nobody would check them or put them in their place or nobody you know, uh, holding them accountable like That's right holding them accountable, holding um, them where accountable. I find, and, and i can say this because i am a mother and i do have sons i am a mother i do have sons i am a mother i do have sons okay so saying this um i find a lot of I would just say my because I mean moms, um, so I'm getting on the moms at this point, it's like baby and their son. So when you baby these boys, they come up to be baby men. <laughs> and they all that. expect somebody, a grown ass woman, to now take on a liability instead of an asset. And absolutely not. Now, that's why I said I am a mother and I have voice. I know people like to, I have a thing where people are talking about, unless you, even if in their, you know, a therapist or somebody that studies whatever, experience is your best, best teacher. So if you didn't have any kids and you want to talk about, so that's the reason why I said I am a mother and I have boys, like to make it plain because I did not do that with my son. And I even told my sons, you put your hand on, if a girl, you know what I mean, hits you or whatever, like, because they're stronger. And I know people like, oh, you hit them back. As kids, yeah, I told them, somebody hit you, you, you hit them back. But, you know, as you get old, I said, no, not be hitting no girl. So a girl wants to, like, tap, tap, like, hit on you. I said, call me, okay? Like, just, just get me involved. You know what I mean? Depending on the situation, 
Um, but not to be beaten on no girls. And even though, you know, like I said, these 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 kids, I said these raggedy kids, they little buck wild. And so, you know, times are different now, but yet and still, like they know what I'll just say, they know what to do. But see, the mother people, when you baby them boys, and it's like I hear this conversation all the time, and I just I'll be like, girl, I understand. Is you had the conversations where the sisters talk about I had to do all this and da 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 da, and my brother just you know he ain't had to do nothing. Like I was the one that had to do all of this, and he was the one that just got baby, whatever. So now you get older, and that's what they expect to happen. And I see it. I see it a lot. I see it a lot, and I'm like, there's a lot of women that will do everything. When I was growing up, me and my sister, we weren't allowed to touch the garbage. My father said, that's what your brother's, your, that's a job for your brother. I bet not ever see you touching garbage. So you know what? Uh, and now when I was single and on my own, I had to touch the garbage because what nobody going to do the garbage. And I wasn't going to ask boyfriend that was coming to visit to take the garbage out because then he felt like, after he take the garbage out, he can get a cup of coffee and a bowl of cereal. No, you got to get your ass out. I'm single. So, KC, when he got old enough, I said, you're going to have to start taking the garbage out. Can daddy do it? Yeah, he's done it long enough. It's your turn. Now, you, got, you need to earn it. I said, and I'm going to tell you what. This is something that I'm not going to help you with because mommy does not touch garbage. You should have seen him looking at me. <laughs> right. But that's what I'm saying. I do not and touch it, garbage. And it don't just so stop not with the garbage. garbage. I know a lot of people, that now, with, lot of people now that he's take grown, out garbage. Now that he's grown, when when uh, his relationships, I don't, I don't choose to get into his business because I will definitely be biased. I ain't even gonna lie. It's my, it's my baby, right? There you go. So the only thing I want to know when, when when the normal ones ain't coming around, I'll say, so you're not with so-and-so anymore? Nah. And I'm like, okay, well, as long as was your breakup respectful? Yeah. Okay. That's all I need to hear. I don't want you disrespecting nobody's daughter, you know, and if she start hitting on you and all of that kind of, you don't have time for that, then you need to get on out of there because that's not right. what you see around here. So you know that that's not normal. You know, now you ain't going to go to jail. I ain't got to be coming to get you because we already told them you whoop some girl's ass. We're not coming to get you. We can't afford exactly. that. You, gonna stay. you made your bed and you're going to lay right on that you hard motherfucker. Do that on your own. So long as it's disrespect, it's not disrespectful. You know, don't call no young ladies no bitches. I know you hear that in the music, but you don't hear that around the house, and that's what sends people off. So don't do things. Don't light the fire. Just get your ass out. I told him. I said, young ladies are a dime a dozen. You're a good looking kid. You'll meet somebody else. And when you meet the one, you'll know that that's the one. But you're young right now. You ain't got time to be, you're a young man right now. You don't have time to be worrying about somebody that's not going to be your forever person. Save that energy. Save that energy because you're going to need it. When you get married, you're going to need that energy. Don't waste it on somebody that's that it's not time for. I said, so extract the good things from this young lady and move forward and make sure that the next young lady has some of those same good properties to add to. Come on, boy, y'all. But oh, yeah, the boy mom thing, I try not to get in the way of Keith. Sometimes I'm, I don't like Keith's way, but I'm glad he's there to teach my son how to move around, you know, as a, as a young man in today's society. Yes, because we need that. Yeah. And I'm like, I, I feel like my sister's out here in the struggle. I would say even myself, because I'm not like, you know what I mean, remarried or anything like that. So it's it's like, but it's like slim picking because I'm like, these men, I'm not quite sure uh, who raised you or like 
where did you grow up? I don't look like nobody raised you. So what what happened? Because I know. Who child? Let me just go to these comments because I just need a break. You said, yeah, I agree with you. Yeah, that's that's something too. Uh a child raising up around a narcissism. Um, I grew up around, I didn't even know that was that's what that was until I started reading about narcissism. I'm like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a, like <laughs> I know somebody like that. I know hold up. Like, and I realized I was surrounded by them. Uh married, you know what I mean? Married to them, dated them. I'm like, well, darn it. Was it like a it's like this group of narcissists? Your assignment is Aisha. <laughs> like, what the hell? I said, what in the <laughs> not your assignment is Aisha? <laughs> like, I and they came in different shapes, sizes, forms, everything. You would have never child. So in all of that, I'm just like. Absolutely not. And D, right, you said, yeah. Let me tell you something. The youngest of my siblings is, is, is a boy. We'll talk about that. We'll, y'all remind me. But y'all, but we're going to cap that because I don't want to put that here. We'll, we'll do it on TikTok. So I'll tell you about that baby, baby, the, uh, baby and the boys. So y'all remember saying... <laughs> Remember the conversation about baby and the boys? You so over going, there? I got a story. I got something which for y'all with, with that. And is how it, it escalates. It, it turns into like adulthood. Oh. Sorry. The boy and child. I couldn't get away from him until you put. <laughs> child, I can tell. I know. Let me tell you something. I know a baby nart to a full grown. Uh, what, What's the like master nart? At this point, so yeah, that submissive thing. It's so like subjective. It's like you want to be submissive when you want something that you want, baby. You don't work, you don't eat, and work it doesn't mean like just a uh, your nine to five job. It's all the work to put into this relationship. All the work that goes into raising kids, building a home, that's the work. So if you can't work that, then you don't eat and you don't eat nothing. I think the I think the term submissive is taken out of context. It is. It is. And I and it and it and it offends so many people. And I'm like, you know, you know, you said your mom said keep living. Uh-huh. Because I've been married for uh, such a way, I don't, I, I, maybe it's the wrong word. Uh, that's what I'm thinking. I don't know. Maybe it's the wrong word to use, or maybe that's the only word that, that, that some men think that is part of being in a marriage and doing this and that and the other. But uh, being submissive does not mean that you're a dog and they go sick. And you sit and put your paws up. So, and and I think that's what a lot of people mistake submissive for being somebody who takes orders. So, and 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 I and I and that's what I'm thinking that a lot of the young ladies kind of misconstrue what submissive means or. Um, the def not the definition of it or the act of being submissive. And then uh, a lot of men will use an example. Of, they use the same example. Well, you know, suppose it's the middle of the night and somebody, you hear somebody uh, coming up in the house or somebody's, you know, messing with the door. Who do you, you, uh, you know, who do you expect to go TV. to? And you'd be like, well, that's not be me being submissive. Well, I mean, it's not you being submissive. And they think that it's you, you being submissive and you're letting them step up front and handle the danger, quote unquote. 
So I'm like, you know, it don't think that I and I and I just think it's it's maybe it's the wrong word that's being used. Uh, but when you're in a marriage, it's not about. I don't think so. I also I have to do uh, because I also feel like too. Um, I grew up. Oh, child, I grew up jacked up. Let me just start that. Start there. Um, <laughs> and a portion of that is growing up and also in the church. And that was something very heavily about being submissive. Now, I will always kind of get pulled to the side is because I've always, in a sense, I've always been like a free thinker. And I think, though, but I, I'm a thinker. So I'm all, and I'm like, why is it y'all heavily so, so talking about how women should dress? And then I said, well, what about the men, though? Like, why do we have to wear skirts all the way down to our kids' knees? Okay, because uh, you know what I mean? Like, it had to be our pants or ankles basically scraping the floor. You know what I mean? Like, and it's loose. Like, it, no form-fitting anything. No sp uh, spaghetti straps. No, you know what I mean? Off the shoulder, nothing. No, any of that. And so, because it would be enticing. Well, why would that be my problem? When I wake, woke up and decided to put it on because that's what I wanted to put on, I wasn't thinking about enticing or it's going to be. So why is it that a man, if they get enticed by what of me, then why is that my problem? Why is it your fault? Too? So, you know what I mean? And then when he's talking about the submissive, like I've seen a lot of them, but guess what? What they're not going to talk about is a lot of them submissive wives was cheated on. Okay, and, and everything else that like you doing all of this for this man, um that it ain't changed, and I was just like, but he ain't baby, what it's like, oh, can you uh now don't get me wrong, can you make somebody a sandwich, you know, here and there? Yes, but if I always gotta make you a sandwich, nigga, did your legs break? Did somebody cut your hands off? If not, that net right, right. That's, you know what and I mean? that's what I think a lot of people think that marriage is, girl, go make me a sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> you go run and make a sandwich. This girl, this lady, she was very prideful and I wanted to tell her so mm. bad, but I didn't. I said, no, I'll make you a sandwich if I'm in the kitchen. She was like, I cook dinner for my husband every night. I don't play that. And I said, but your husband is sitting here looking at me. He looking at it. Child, I mean, it was clear as day that this dude be, if you all up in my face, and I mean out in the public with it, I said, oh, well, why you you need to come out the kitchen then and see what the hell he doing. <laughs> like, right. I mean, he was so prideful as if, like, I, all of that, child, you could do all of that, and the man is still going to be that, whatever that type of man is. If he's going to be out here in these streets, you cooking a damn meal, you might as well cook her one, too, and her homegirl. <laughs> Not and the whole girl. And I'm really seriously, just have takeout containers. But I was <laughs> like, we got no, no. And I'm an advocate on, uh, you know what I mean, relationships. And but these relationships of today, I'm not. I'm just like, they're different, newfangled. Yeah, they're. It's not really. You know what I mean. It's a cute look, or they doing it for social media. Everybody, take, your, take your time when you're out there looking for the forever person. Take your time. Right. Maybe that's what maybe if people if, could put it. Because I mean, if I would have known that, like when I got married my first time, I got married because I could not stand my family. I wanted to get away. I wanted something different. And I got something different. I went from one crazy family to two. To another. Yep. So it was like he had issues. I had issues. So now I only would have had to deal with my issues if it was just me. But now I have to deal with this one with these other issues and then had two sons in those issues. Okay. So I was like, yeah, we going forward. Um, but I mean, like you said, you don't know what you don't know. I used to beat myself up all the time over it. Like, you know, how could you be so dumb? You'd be so stupid. Like, all of these different things and realize, baby, I really was. And I know we hear this a lot because sometimes when stuff is said and then people water it down and use it for everything, it gets annoying because it, like, waters it up. But really, when you, if you know for a fact that you really did the best you could with the information, like, with your upbringing and all you had, that's all you had. 
and that's all you know no so that's all you do you that's all you think that's out there that's for you because i mean i've always looked to see like a lot of stuff out there but i never would imagine or you know what i mean think that it could be for me though what are you showing me friend seams oh you did decide to do it yeah on the side seams, yeah, I had to. Because like I said, this fabric is too old. Okay, <laughs> well, you want me to show sure the whole have... thing? Yeah, so you know, you want to be since you want to be showing seams. Yeah, show what you're doing. That's what they're on for. Yeah, she got the surge happening, y'all. <laughs> we surge it. <laughs> surge. So I'm actually, what I'm doing right here is I'm threading my cover. Y'all know I'm team cover stitch. I'm um, threading my cover stitch machine because I'm going to do that to do my edges. Now I'm getting ready to serge this outside edge and then mm -hmm. I'm just going to turn it under. I'm trying to think, do I can do, do I want to do one or two? Hmm. You mean one or two what? Threads. Do I want to just do one? I think it'll be cute with the two. The two what? For my cover stitch, do I want to use the two needles or, or just one? Oh, I'm just going to do one. To lock it. it around. Got a nice little point there. So I'm going to surge. I'm going to turn. Can I turn? There we go. Hey. I've never done one. So let's try it today, shall we? Let's try it, friends. <laughs> You said, let's try it, friends. Latoya asks, um, did you do one four for your French seams? Hi, the French seams, Yeah, I do one quarter and then flip it and then I do three eighths. So I do three eighths, which is the larger seam. Uh, the second seam is the larger seam. Two eighths plus three eighths is five eighths. And then two eighths, of course, is a quarter, quarter of an inch. So where do I start? I guess I start at one end, come all the way around. Right. Right. Mm. Oh, for your right. I think that's what you gotta do. Oh, wait. You're welcome. Now, I wish I had enough room to put this um, on a, 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 like to get like a little crank table. Because when I surge, I like to stand up. Do you? Yes, I do. Stand up crew. I, I, I prefer to stand up, but um, I'm not going to put this on my cutting table. It'll take up too much. So what I did was take one needle out so it doesn't, so the other needle don't be cutting up my fabric. supposed to go but wait they want you to do something you got do you got to fold something up and then over what for the point when it gets to the point in the end for the point you're gonna have well i did a fridge seam so i had a little bit hanging over and there's on the instructions they show you how to turn the point under under and then when you fold this long edges over then you get a you get a point so if you look at like step number, looks like step number three. Three. Yeah, they show you how to fold it so you get that nice point on the edge. Well, why do I have to look at the? I have you here, friend. Like, what does this mean? What do you mean? What did? Why well, ain't there yet? So give me a, give me a. <laughs> oh Lord. 
You ahead of me, aren't you ahead of me? You got the two pieces uh yes based it together. No, you don't do that yet. You do the ends, you you finish off the ends first before you put it together. Oh, okay. Let me let then that's what I'm doing. I'm finishing my sides so I can actually turn it under and then put them together. Oh, Are we like on the same area then? Well, we'll be way ahead of me. Huh? This is why I like my cover stitch machine because see how you're doing all of that that you got to sew. I'm doing it all in one step. Yeah. Right, me too, Latoya. I can't do that standing sewing and all. I'm only standing to cut it out, and that's it. <laughs> Then I gotta go through hell and hot water. To... Yes, you would have to be Jana. You would have to. You would have to be on both um, two separate, like two separate accounts to to be able for us both to get credit. All right, so now I'm on number two. Let me drink my water. Now, we done talked about a lot of, I said, woo, child, this, this live was, they'll catch the replay, like, wait a minute, are they song? What, what is going on here? Good conversation, though. Good real talk. Conversation. But it's life. Hold around the mountain. Here she comes. I'm around the mountain here. <laughs> I'll be ready to fold my ham when I come. I'll be ready to fold my ham when I come. Listen, I'll, I'll, be just ready say good. I'll be ready to fold my ham. I'll be ready to fold my ham when I come. Oh, it's okay. Um, Jenna, I appreciate you wanting to do that, but it's okay. It is a, it's always a replay. We're not saying necessarily saying that you have to sit and watch the whole thing again. It's just, you know, play it while you're doing other stuff or whatever, then we get the credit. Then that's, you know, that's another way of doing it as well. All right. So now. Yeah, how to do this. So I guess when it... I thought, so it kind of wraps around your side. I thought it was just in the front, but it wraps around your side. Yeah. Okay. Wait, Latoya. So hold on, Jana. Are you the Latoya that's on here too, or this is another Latoya? It's the same. The same. Oh, one. It's, oh it's the same one. Okay, God. I'm like, wait a minute. She okay. Latoya on TikTok, but Jana everywhere else. Oh, you said same person. Oh, okay. Same person. Yeah. Oh, that's what she meant. I was like, okay. Like I told you, so I'm, I'm thinking, child, because I'm like, wait a minute. 
Are you saying that sometimes I'm a delayed one, but I, nevertheless, I be thinking, be coming back 10 minutes later, like, you know, moved on. I'm like, wait a minute. What you said? <laughs> so, all right, friend. Now, how are we? Because yours look like a little, almost like a square. Not right now, right? Maybe yours might be a little bit more pointed than mine. Because I didn't use five-eighths of an inch seam allowance. I only used... Uh, I did five eighths on the side seams, and then on the other ones you can do three eighths. Okay, so, well, I don't know exactly. What I, I do three eighths though. Yeah, well, that's, that's what I'm talking about. Like the sides, the side seam, I didn't do five eighths because I knew that it was going to be too. Oh, because you needed some. Okay. Yeah. So here's how it's going to come out. All you do is turn it up. Uh, it says here to turn up three eighths on either side, then press out, turn under. Oh, okay. Okay, so what they're saying is if you go three eighths, you want to press in three eighths on each side, right? So for me to to do three eighths, I'd have to put a uh, basin stitch all the way through. So anyway, you turn it under three eighths, right? And then after you turn under your three eighths of an inch, you want to go ahead and you want to iron it all the way down and just put press it. So now you're going to have iron marks on both sides, right? With the three eighths of an inch. Then you can open it up and you'll have your iron marks there. Then you take this and you fold it in, kind of like how you do a pocket. Then you take your three eighths inch and you fold it back in, and then that'll give you that point that you need there. So you fold the sides first, and then press them down for mm -hmm. your hem. Then once you get done, when you open it up, you're going to have those, iron, those crease marks all the way up to the point. Then you can take this in, fold it in at a quarter of an inch, and then you mm -hmm. should be able to take your folded edge. Oh, that's what I that's what I was thinking. I right. Was thinking. That's it's just like the way you would do like the edge of a pocket. You know how you you point the edge of a pocket it's the same way. Okay. And then don't don't clip anything or trim anything at the point because that little ball of fabric that's caught up in that miter, uh-huh, that's like a weight. A weight. Okay. And that's what keeps the the points down and flowing and freely. Uh -huh. It like adds weight to the little ball of the fabric there. Okay. <laughs> you need to see the fold in real time. <laughs> all right, all right. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's where the three aces where them dots are. Right, three eighths are where your dots are. Cause so the ham right. it goes all both. the way around and down. That's three eighths of an inch. So I'm going to baste, um, and I like uh, although I did a surge, a surge is only a quarter of an inch. Three eighths of an inch is an eighth of an inch more. So I'm gonna put in a base stitch for my hem because I'm gonna fold up the three eighths, and I like my hems crispy. If Ty Jury is still on here. So this is just a little extra some some that I do. And this is like when you do this is what slow sewing is when you add all kind of different techniques um, into when you add a lot of different techniques into what you're doing. But I am going to fold up to three eighths of an inch all the way around. So I'm putting in a base stitch at three eighths of an inch, so I don't have to guess where to fold. I don't need a ruler. I don't need a seam gauge. I can just fold right up to my line. I don't think mine. I want it to be that that large. So I'm just putting in a temporary base stitch. Normally, I would put a. Uh, different color in so it's easier to, to pull out. I usually put a different color in the bobbin 
so it's easy to see and I know exactly what thread needs to be eliminated. I mean, what thread to pull when it's time to take the thread out. Uh, Batara, I did not use a different color bobbin thread, which is kind of stupid because this, this shirt takes up a lot of thread. And um, when you do that, you take a chance of running out of a bobbin thread that you need for your project. When I get done, I'll show you guys what I have here. Are you ironing now? You him ironing? I am trying to create because, like, remember, I said I didn't use three eighths of an inch. Okay, what I'll do for um, anybody that's sewing, like Jana, I'll press under three eighths of an inch over. I'll just do the tip so you can actually see uh, the tip. Oh, I'm doing the tip. It's not tip. It's like falling right on. All right, let me put my put my stitch in other half. Another half. Oh my God, Aisha! I might want another one of these. I don't like making things twice. Oh, but nope, nope, nope. I will have I'll have the toddler top and this one. So then that means I can retire this pattern. You said you what? I said I might retire this pattern. If y'all know I'm a, I'm a I don't know about y'all, but I'm a compliment whore. If I get a whole bunch of compliments on this, I will make another one. <laughs> it is so cute. It's so pretty. Okay, so yeah. Cause I do, I do want a black one. Cause it's just so doggone. The black one is just so sleek looking. Right. Shoot, I don't know what these are. In. Huh? <sighs> Trying to do it to where I can get a point. Hold on, I'm I'm getting ready to do the point. I'm getting ready to do the point. Mine's look like I'm just uh, blunt scissors. At this point, I'm st I'm stitching in my. Uh, let me put in my base stitches, and then that'll be a little bit easier for you all to see too. Uh, I'm almost done. I did one side. As soon as I can get a point, I'm just gonna go for it. Plenty enough. That look pointy enough for me. Let me see what you got. Yeah, I don't even like uh oh yeah, yours is like super pointy. Mine probably won't even be that pointy. That's because I fixed fixed it. So <laughs> Jenna said it looks like a point. All right, so yeah. here's up close. You can see my surged edge, and then you can see my three eighths of an inch basting stitch. Mm -hmm. Okay, the surged edges are a quarter of an inch. So the edge of the surge thread is a quarter of an inch. So there's an eighth of an inch space in there. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to press to my three eighths of an inch stitch on both ends. And you can see when I press it, there's already a point there. Then when I unfold it, I'm going to take this piece and fold it up a quarter of an inch. And then I'm going to refold back to my three eighths of an inch. Guideline. And it's gonna put the, it's gonna look like mine is gonna look like this. Aisha's is a little bit more on the pointy tip. I'll have a little bit more fabric folded inside of mine. On the point tip, all the time, Fife. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> Uh-huh, but you knew what I was talking about, didn't you? <laughs> huh? 
I said, but you knew what I was talking about, didn't you? I sure did. <laughs> get a day on the boulevard. Yeah, I sure see, did. Uh, see. <laughs> we used to cook the teas in our family. But we used to, yeah. Go, 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 go. Yes, I does. Oh, I could have put a smaller um, but it's all right. It's okay. So I will show y'all mine. No. Done. Do this pattern piece at the bottom, is it? Because some of these, they got like a slight little arch to. Yeah, it does. Like a little, slight little arch in there. Uh, right at the side, there's a little arch. Right at the, kind of coming up the side. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. And a, yeah. I'm talking about down on, on the wing tip. It's straight on one. Hold on. Unless my... It could be me because my pressing it looks like that's probably going to be a a me thing. All right, I'm getting ready to fold up my. I'm going to uh, iron up my hem. Iron up my hem. I'm getting ready to iron up my hem. Y'all want me to show y'all in the screen or can I move it forward? Let me know. At the tip. At the point tip. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, you're supposed to say all the time, Fife. You don't know. See, I got a friend named Tambra. Every time I say a, a verse, she says the next one. And and we we do that all the time. It, it annoys the shit out of people. And it's the funniest thing. See, so you got you got to get right, fight. Ah! <laughs> well, my name is Aisha. <laughs> okay. No, you're fight. Come on now. On the point, Sip. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Q-tip right now. No, I, no, I'm All fight. the time, fight. There you go. You Q-tip, I'm fight. Okay. Let me adjust this because my thing is rippling. That better come out when I press it, or I'm going to be upset. Here. Here. That's bad. Not bad. Oh, wait, Latoya, you making this too? She's making this? I think so. Okay, it did for mine did form a point. Because I mean it's that whole bulk right there that's right there at the scene. Uh mine did do a point. All right, so now I can come over here and and show the point. <laughs> no, I'm just watching. I'm doing some him. Okay. Okay. So what I did was I did that base stitch three eighths of an inch all the way around. Then I fold it first to three eighths of an inch. Let me turn here this way. So I folded three eighths of an inch 
and I pressed it down with my iron, right? So now we have the tip here. And what you do is you turn the tip in. When you get your two basting stitches come together like this, you fold the tip so that the bottom of the fold is at the edge or at the edge of the basting stitches or where your hem is going to be. And then when you fold it in, after you press up, you can see I pressed up on the tip there. Then you fold in. Wait, let me see. Wait, there it goes. I press the tip up, but that's like about a quarter of an inch till the two stitches meet. Then I'm just folding back in to where I iron. And then it makes a point. Here it is on the right side. Okay, point. Okay, so now all I got to do, because I'm just, since I've surged my edge, I'm just going to press up to my line, and then I'm going to turn it around, I'm going to top stitch it all the way down, and my seams should both end right here at this point. So I'm going to start here, go all the way around, and then I should end here as well. Then I'll be ready to put the two together. So on the point tip. But you hold on. Not right now, Fife. Okay. Um <laughs> you should mean put them together. You you didn't hem it first. You just pressed it. I no, mean, I just I just pressed it. I didn't hem it yet. I didn't stitch it yet. So friend, what you you said you're gonna be available Friday. This is gonna be the part two. Cause I, I this is gonna be a part two. You know what? Great. Don't be covering up your hand. Keep going. You just keep going. Okay. You hear that? You hear that tip? <laughs> Where are you at now? You you must be sewing your hem because I hear your machine. I'm at my cover stitch machine, of course. Okay, well, keep on covering. We still got time. Fran, it's only a quarter till. <laughs> Maybe ten till. <laughs> what time is it? Yeah, it's <laughs> ten to ten. Okay, come on. We still got time. Come well, on. ten to what? So uh one to the two or oh, for you, right? Yeah. Okay. Come on. Keep on going. <laughs> you said not now, Fife. <laughs> I mean, you're just doing too much. I'm just that's not that part of the song, Aisha. <laughs> Listen, it's a remix. Okay, you know I can carry you just a remix. <laughs> Take this one Not right now, Fife. <laughs> if I saw right mode, you're going to tell me I'm not. Not right now. Keep on moving. Don't stop. That's, that's the only part I got, y'all. Right, it's gonna be a part two to this. But here's the thing though, and that would have been pretty nice to do. Let me press this to see what the what is. Let me have a little 
Holly. Oh, this fabric is so light. Lightweight. It's a, it was a lot of like. This fabric, I had a lot left over, like, in strange areas. You had a lot of what? Like, I had a lot of leftover fabric because of oh. the, the tail and the side. So that kind of, that blows a little bit. All right, so that's the one. So y'all can't really see. I use my cover set. So this is what it looks like on the bed. Um, that's why I didn't surge it because this is considered like a surge of finishing. Right there. But then I just did the one. I took one needle out. So it's not double needle, but that's so that's one finished side. Y'all can see that. Oh, I know. We can't play uh, music on here. Well, you can. It is a playlist, but you. I'm just trying to get myself acclimated with YouTube. I is, don't want to get it, uh, music. Is it? Is it music? Just it's not music with words, though. Correct. It's well, I, I believe it can be words. It just can't be copywritten. But like I have this playlist. Let me see if I can play. I have a playlist. I was supposed to test it out. Maybe I'll do that later. Um. Cause it's like it's songs, but it's like in this jazz kind of beat. You know how people redo something with jazz, and so that's what it kind of is. So I don't really know if it's copyrighted though, because I be needing music. <laughs> Not me. Music I'm make you lose I, control. I like quiet when I sew. What you say? I said I'm. I like it quiet when I sew. Okay. Cause you, cause you, you want to make all the noise. Uh huh. Yeah. All right, come on now. I need this side to point to point. Now, playing these games with me. Okay. Point. I hope this this buzzing that I hear. Um, don't come out in this video. Make sure, like, if when we sign off, if they have like a feedback something, like a feedback form, or how was your broadcast? Make sure you put that on there. Okay. If they have. Yeah, mine has got like to me like a little arch to it. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's sort of definitely defeated the purpose of what I was trying to do.
So you got them both pressed now? Yeah, I'm ready to sew them up now. Uh, so I'm not going to do three-eighths. I'm going to do right here. Two eighths of an inch drops down. Yeah, that's more than enough. All right. Here. And here. All right. Let her rip. Did you do um a uh, double stitch or double needle hem on your cover for your hem? For no, I did one. Okay. Because you said you was just doing. I said, remember, I was like, let's try it out to see with the one. Yes, no, maybe so. Ain't even paying, paying me no attention. I didn't hear you. Just don't worry about it. I heard you say to try something out. Remember, I was like, friends, let's try this. I was said I was going to try out the one, the one instead of two. I said that earlier, but you apparently wasn't wasn't paying. I missed it. Ain't you did respond to it though. I'm just saying. Okay, well, I don't remember. I... <laughs> That's I don't obvious. Remember. I don't remember. I don't That's remember. Okay. Yeah. Never remember. Not that it wasn't important. Mm -hmm. Was it after yeah. you call after you told me you didn't have time tip? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, but you remember that though. Okay. <laughs> Okay. I think you're supposed to say that. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. Sorry, I'd rather. All right. Coming around the mountain on him number one. All right, I'm going. I'm starting the helm on the second one. Okay. 
Yeah, that's what I'm doing now, too. You're on the second one, too? Yeah. What? Say it ain't so. Hmm? I'm going to go back over that. I said, say it ain't so. Oh, boy. Uh, one, eight, two, eight. Girls cutting up. I'm cutting up. What? The... None of this even went through. Ooh, they just played me. They played me. First of all, let's take this out because we don't even need that. Why is this thing? It is so. Oh, all right, see you, D. Have a great day at work. We'll be back for a part two, so, you know. So you can see the finished. But surely you're not going to get this done. I think we probably will stop at all the way around. Oh, okay. At the um, before we we got to do the um, we didn't do the witch we'll call it. What? Oh, we stopped at the basting all the way around. Okay, never mind. I'm thinking of the toddler top. The who? Toddler top. I did my I did my straps first and set them aside. Instead of what? I, my straps. I did oh, you my, already did them? No, on my other top. And I set oh. them aside. But uh, the ba that comes after you base them together. Because they go in between the facing. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, see. I so, yeah, we can stop at the basting. But, so when we come back and do part two, have your straps uh, sewn, not with the hardware, just sewn and turned in and out. You know what I mean? What? What if I need, if I need help with that? You don't need help with that. Fold in half and flip it inside out. Not the know. hardware part. But just preparing the straps for us to do the hardware. Okay. You know what I mean? Jelly I beans. knew what you meant the first time. Jelly but beans. I'm just simply saying, you know, could have been a nice you don't, need demo. you don't need help on that Jimmy joint. You just need help on the, <laughs> on the, uh, what is it? I don't know. What's the gym? The other gym, not the Jimmy joint, but the <laughs> you put you talking about them little sexy um. Now, what's the slashing spread? Oh, I, applesauce. Yeah, there we go. We got to do the hardware applesauce <laughs> to attach yeah. it to the Jimmy joint. Okay, I'm talking my language. And we're not doing the hardware applesauce. We just sewing the joints together. Okay. But you said you just because I'm not I only did it that one time. Remember when we were on the on the phone and you showed me how to pull it through the thing? That that little looper thing been in this been in the pack. That was oh okay, okay. All right. Well then we can do so that. that's why I was saying, like, um, I mean of course you know I would attempt it. We'll do that but, after. 
somebody else might need to see that information because I'm pretty sure a lot of people had that loop turner and it's probably sitting on the side like mine was. Help with the loop turner? Okay. Yeah, to pull it through. Because remember, you was like, no, you got to attach it or latch it on or something. Mm -hmm. I don't know. You got to make sure that the little the, the rapture crawl closes before you pull it through. The rapture crawl. All right. I am going to press mine and then put them together. You done passed me now. I had to, I had to take <laughs> mine out. Because it was not... I don't know what the heck was going on, but it wasn't so nothing. It like partially did, and then it decided to stop. Like right in the... So guys, we will be coming back for a part two. What in the world is happening? That didn't sound good. No, it did not. But I don't know. Yeah, let me. I'm gonna have to just unthread it. Just like take the thread. Well, I don't have to start over. It's just now I got to go back and start from that point. But maybe I need to thread this again. Because I don't know what is going on. I guess I'll probably be stopping at this point at, at the rate I'm going. We'll get to the end. I don't want to act up. Oh. Time for water in my tank. I'm not getting no steam. I love me a good steam. Getting only a little bit. I like a, That's I like a blast. I'm like, yeah, I need a blast to steam. Mm-hmm. I'm like, the iron got to have a good steam on it or else. I don't even like to iron what I'm used to. Oh, okay. Let's carry on. Shall we? Games just trying to hit me here all day. All right, y'all, I think we're back in business. Like now that I have my new machine, every all of my other machines sound extra loud. But before it was like normal, but now it is like
Oh, that was cute. Her tell y'all have a top notch day now. I know D is going, but thank you, D. Um, the most challenging part of this, I don't really think. I would think trying to get the point to 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 uh to try to make that point at the bottom. I mean, I don't really know how this other part is going to go, but when we get to the put in the lingerie um hardware on there but i think trying to get that point at the end i would say what do you think carol what about what is challenging <laughs> yeah what do you think is the most challenging part uh to the top probably would just be the point if that's not something you used to do but it's similar to putting a point on a pocket and uh with this one though you got to make sure you put in your stay stitches because um if you stretch the neck out of with if you stretch the neck out of shape you're not gonna be in business it's gonna be bad for you make sure you use the right fabric too this ain't no experimenting fabric project <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna try this fabric because I really love it now. Yeah, it's I think the key to with the fabric though is find something that has a drape to it, like a flag. Right. It's gotta to be it. something that moves. So use what's on the back of the envelope. Well, I didn't use what's on the back of the envelope. That's why I said that. that. I'm using a very lightweight denim. Yeah, okay. So lightweight denim is like chambray, right? I, I don't know. Can you make what it is it something that you would make blue jeans out of? Or is it something that you would only make a shirt or a dress out of? A shirt or a dress. Yeah, then it's probably chambray denim. Or like a like a trouser pant, like but not like a denim jeans, you know, like our regular pant jeans that we would wear. No. Yeah, okay. So it's like is it like a linen weight? Does it feel like linen weight? Yeah, it's it gives you the um linen thing without all and the it's wrinkles probably, it's like a chambray denim chambray okay you know i'm textiles is on my to-do list this year so I don't know. see that look at that how fun is that mm -hmm. do you want to make sure that you can do that that's the purpose of uh using the right fabric so that part right there will be like so like the wind blow you'll see your your fangs to be they should do. not the fangs. <laughs> the fangs. <laughs> That's what they were the fangs. I like that. The fangs is going the to be, they need to be blowing in the wind. If those things is stiff, like you know, some starch pants, that was not the fabric. That's not going that's not that's not gonna be the Jimmy joint. That's not the Jimmy joint you want. Right. So yeah, this is definitely a pick the right fabric. Pick the right fabric, it's not gonna come out nice. They gonna lie to you. All right, because I was debating. I said, Oh, because I was looking on the back, and even though with the fabrics, I'm like, Child, I don't know. I wouldn't know if I had this or not anyway, because I don't know the names of the fabric. But I felt it in my shot, not not that this was gonna be okay, and so that's why. You know. <laughs> I was like, I was figuring like, well, the whole point of that is probably to have some kind of flow to it. And this has a flow to it. So, you know, we could do that. Um, um, Y'all, please help me. I, I, When I go to the dentist, I hope they don't dead my mouth. Oh, Lord, you go to the dentist like every week. Ugh. Well, I'm let me know. Like, you I had it last week. To. I'm just, I'm just like, I'm just hoping that, like I said, hoping that I have to dead my mouth today. See, if we was on TikTok, I'd ask y'all to send me some prayer hands. Did I have them here on? <laughs> uh, Ma'am. 
The man. bare hairs do not come from TikTok. They come from your phone. <laughs> I'm talking about here. Or, on or, well, you know, I'm talking phone. about on this you, on this thing and this app. They can send me some prayer hands on YouTube. Can you do that? There they go. See? <laughs> see? There you see? You see the prayer and see? Won't he do it? Talk Thank, you, won't Mark, he do it? Thank you. I need some prayer hands. I'm so hoping they don't dead my mouth today. I hope they don't. What do you what do you got to get done? Like well, I had a temporary cap on. I'm get, I'm in the process of getting a bridge, and they found all kind of other shit wrong. So Lord, you now, sound like my now, mom. now we're down to the bottom, and so it's it's almost bridge time. But my temporary cap fell off, so now they got to put the cap back on. Oh Lord! And and then uh, the dentist told me yesterday that, that was it yesterday or day before I don't know. But he was like, "Well, I'm not gonna charge you to put the cap back on." And I said, "Was the cap supposed to fall off?" I know that's right. <laughs> I know that's right. <laughs> he said, "No." I said, "Okay, then that's why you shouldn't charge me." Well, no, like, like he doing right. you a favor. I can't even believe he even said that shit. You know. Well, you know, people, listen, they will try you. They will try you. I was just like, for real? Was it, was it supposed to come off? I mean, just let me know. I know if I was working in that office, I'd be like, ooh! <laughs> Child. He is looking at that bitch, and we should have put Novocaine in your mouth. Bitch, we should have had your teeth. <laughs> Because I sure enough did. I sure enough said that. I did. We're not going to. I was like laughing because you always laughing and saying stuff. <laughs> I wasn't laughing that time. Shit. I'll be laughing when it comes to my pocket. That I know that's cool. right. It ain't funny. I was up in there looking at him like with the serious face. All right, so I'm almost done. I'm going to charge you to put it on, but are you going, do you still have to pay? Or, uh, what I don't it? know, but I'm just like, I shouldn't be paying for nothing today. They just need to fix what they did wrong. Just go in there and put the cap back on, but I'm just hoping they don't put no no Oh, yeah, there's something there. It should be totally... Um, I don't blame you on that one. Hmm. It's supposed to, it was supposed to rain, but the sun is out. That don't mean it's gonna be warm. All right, friend, I got my pieces basted together. They based it on one? Yeah. Okay. It's Look so at that. Cute. Yeah, it, it is going to be. I'm like loving this. I'm about to base mine on now. My cover stitch, that's like it. And maybe it was a little upset that I wasn't using both needles, so it might have missed. This twin. Oh gosh. Oh, you don't try your stuff on. So. Oh no, that's wide enough. That don't fit me. <laughs> Your minds. That's the same thing. The same thing. Now I'm curious about these darts since you move yours. But I guess also it depends on how. I adjust the um the shred. Mm hmm That probably could, like I said, my bus ain't. I mean, I'm loving this part. The fangs. The fangs. Fangs. You gotta go. <laughs> this fabric is like Hawaiian looking. It just kind of. Yeah, it's definitely giving a vacation. Yeah. Definitely putting some of What you wearing on your date night? Your toddler um outfit? Did you say you going on a date this week? Is it what did you go already? We go all, all the time. The, here's the toddler one. 
Yeah, I can't believe she made that toddler. Uh, that's what, that's what you got me calling it now. I'll call it right, and you. <laughs> well, so for, for one, that's what it is, though. Here's the straps. Look at the two T. Oh, look at that! You can tie them in the little bow. <laughs> look at it. <laughs> Oh my God! No, you didn't. Okay, oh, Miss Purple. Well, just to say, you know, at the I beginning, we're a little bit more mild now. Who, Miss Purple? Miss Purple, one hundred. Oh, that's pretty. And it's got you know what you can't see, which is which is cool. It's got metallic pinstripes in it. Are you gonna wear a bow in your head? Ruffle socks. I may take some scrunchie and make a scrunchie out of the scraps. Here's the ruffle. Ruffles. You need some Buster Browns? Did they call them Buster Browns in Chicago? There we used to call them Octopedas. Some of the black and white shoes. Yes, the hard bottom shoes. <laughs> so, then this is the ruffle that goes on the back and around the front. Don't be telling it. Don't, don't tell me it's cute. I don't want to hear it. I'm, oh, I'm not. If we talk about Fred, it's Ryan cute, Fred. I'm not, I'm, I'm not gonna, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. You don't have anything nice to say. You don't say nothing at all. <laughs> I had already addressed the 2T. Um, and you still went on here and did it. So, I love it. I love which I'm proud of you. I'm glad that you 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 stuck to your guns and said that's it, y'all B version B. That is not, it's, wait, put it back up there. I don't think that people really saw that. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all see that with that baby ruffle? <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, I'm ready to. Well, I'm pinning mine to do the, um, the basting stitch. Wait, you basted it, yeah. The basting stitch, but just to hold it up. So this is what it looks like. It look oh, like look it. at your fabric. Oh, that's pretty. What it look like. What look it at look your fangs. Like. <laughs> you got <laughs> <laughs> not the not the oh my oh my goodness. I love us, man. I'm telling you. Oh, I was saying um. Miss Purple 100. Child, you catch that replay. You go in the beginning, we were talking about a lot of stuff. So it was a little heat. I mean, it was a good conversation. So if you are okay with like cussing, you're okay with like real talk, because that's what we do, then enjoy. All right. This, y'all, oh, do y'all see the vision that, oh, those pants, the, um, the orange. That it's a bright orange, but that's gonna be cute. It's gonna make this the orange in this denim to really pop. Well, it is. It is Latoy. It's called the toddler top. No, it's not. Yes, it no, is. No, it's not. And it's you have boobs beat. too. So can you imagine you have a you got boobs out here and then you got this little oh, it's called get, view b <laughs> then you got like this so this is the ruffle so you got all this and then you got this little ruffle the ruffle's not gonna be up it's here like that long it's gonna be here oh my goodness <laughs> i kept saying the time <laughs> Look, look, look at me pointing this way. <laughs> right, that's, it's the opposite on yeah, on, on here. It's so opposite. <laughs> I'm gonna finish the toddler top. I'm gonna finish it today. I come from the dentist. Well, long as you know, use it for a meeting in the bedroom with chocolate thunder. I ain't got enough. If I had enough uh, fabric to make the little. Tippy tap panties with the ruffle on a booty. Oh, now, yeah. Mm -hmm. Y'all play a little <laughs> game like you getting the, I don't know, because I mean, I add know. the chocolate. 
<laughs> did somebody ask for chocolate bar? <laughs> Come on now. Yes, I did. <laughs> Come on now, I got some right here. <laughs> like, come on now. <laughs> you know I got all the chocolate you need. <laughs> come on now. Think <laughs> <Come on. laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> On the toddler one. <laughs> oh, Lord. I, I, <laughs> after she get up from her, uh, if they don't dead my mouth. <laughs> oh, you gonna go live today? I might go on um live on maybe on TikTok. TikTok. I my other little thing. Hmm? Uh the little the little what? strap, bottom strap. I can't. Oh, you said you looking for it. Well, let me know. Because I know you said Friday was available when we was talking. You want to come back and do well, let me know. Actually, I know you. Once you figure out what's going oh, no, on, let tomorrow. me know when you can. Then, oh, here it is. And then that way I can, you know, I can say I can do Friday. This day, we can come back and finish. Um, we can come back and finish. Yeah, because I'm sure people definitely want like the straps. I've never done them before. So. And then how to work the the lingerie part. Yeah, so that might get me into making more like spaghetti shred. Um, because see, if I finish it today, then oh, let's tell you, I will. Once once we figure out what's when we gonna do it, which um, I will definitely post it. I'll put it in my stories. Carol put it in her story, so you'll know to come back. Because I really, when we finish it, I want to put the outfit on with the the pants. Lord, hopefully, I can fit those pants. Fix it, Jesus. Hopefully. Oh, you're making an outfit. The whole you got the whole thing. Okay, so the orange pants go with the the dinner. Well, I mean, I, I of course I'll wear it with other things, but that was one of the um my inspiration behind it was to wear with my orange pants. Okay, some orange pants are bright. They are they like uh what do you call it? Um, highlighter orange. Mm. Okay. Well, what's so, going to be nice is that side piece is going to hang, the fangs are going to hang long and take away some of the brightness, mm -hmm. which will be nice. But yeah, mine is just for, uh, you know. Yeah. So I was like to see the vision of it. Like, it. this is her daughter. I'm good. How are you? I'm just she's going to be saying Dr. Ali um, at the end of this month, and then Dr. Quinone wants to follow up with her after Dr. Ali. Mm -hmm. So we do have Thursday, April the 11th at 1 30. Uh, okay, so to schedule the appointment, you're need to gonna call you know you're gonna need to call my sister. Okay. And you should have her number on file, Charlene and Stevenson. Uh, Right, I'm Carol. You should see Charlene. No, we don't have her number. Um, all right. So you know what I'll do? What is I don't know her number offhand. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh give her a call so she can call your office because she does all of the appointments. But then she's gonna get my call center and they're not gonna know what's going on. Um I don't have a direct number for her to call and be you're Carol, correct? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I don't have any other number in here. Okay, can we just call Dr. Ali's office? Uh, because I'm not going to do the scheduling. She does all the scheduling for my mom. Right. Can I call you back within like five minutes to get the number from you? No, ma'am. Right now I'm doing a live and I have my audience. <laughs> so, no, okay. I would not yeah, be well, she, to get that call center and um they're back up to know what to do okay um and then after i'm done i won't be available until about four o'clock this evening so if oh, you want to yeah, call I me be, I don't, I don't be four Yeah, 
Okay. I was about to say, yeah, you could just easily have pu- muted it, child. So, y'all, this is it. She was like real animate about you doing it. I'm like, then I saw the mute button and I'm like, okay, now let me give her the number. Yeah, because I I was thinking that's probably why you were um right because I couldn't find it. I was like, well, hell, how do I mute? I'm looking at the screen. Then I found it right below my box. Okay, well. Let me know how you feeling. Um, we, we could probably do it Friday if you're available. But um, yeah, we'll still keep Friday. It. Can we do it earlier Friday? Mm-hmm. Okay. If we do it early Friday, that's perfect because tomorrow is mom day. I'm yeah. Going to house tomorrow. So I'm free Friday during the day. Well, Friday evening is when we hit the streets. If we do, anything. Yeah, I'll be hitting the streets too. <laughs> and yeah. I told you she ain't got no track beat. But um, no, that's fine. Um, so we want to do, do same time Friday. Yeah, we could do ten thirty Friday. Eleven thirty my time. So okay. ten thirty Central, eleven thirty Eastern Standard Time. But I I will put the I will um add it, do the flyer again. And just put, you know, part two. Okay, that's fine. Yay. But all right, well, thank you, friend. We'll we'll be back Friday, y'all. Okay. Yay. Oh, and when you send me the link next time, to, well, oh, oh, never mind. Oh, you want to email email to you? Do you have my email address? I sh- yeah, you sent just me. Just send it to my phone because I was able to get the trailer off of the link and put it in my laptop. But I can even okay. No, send me the link because, like I said, this is hanging on this last stream. This thing might not even be alive on Friday. So <laughs> if it's not a live Friday, then I can broadcast from my phone. Okay. okay. All, All right. right. Bye, Bye y'all. everybody. Thank y'all. Extreme.